So what I'm going to do next is traditionally called nesting JSON data. Nesting JSON data. Now when you do a nesting of the data, you still keep the array-like structure. Yep. No. Fine. Okay. So what you do is, instead of leaving these references as index numbers, you actually create references. So for example, if I change this name to Andy Carlson, and this is Sarah Hodges, I would now like to create the reference for the first record as this is Andy. This whole record is Andy. <clears throat> So that whole record is Andy, <clears throat> and the next whole record is Sarah. <clears throat> and next whole record is Sarah. Now if you take this kind of an approach, then you cannot loop through it the way you were looping before because now you have created multiple references. Family will going to lead you to Sarah or Andy. Sarah or Andy will lead you to the other four properties. Yeah, so you basically nest your structure that way. So now let's get rid of this for loop. And instead of saying family ctr.name, I will rather say family.andy.name. Family.andy.age. Family dot andy dot gender family dot andy dot hometown and family dot andy dot toy andy dot toy these should be curly braces because of nesting it's not an array anymore so that needs to change. So make sure you replace your square brackets with curly braces. I totally overlooked that. And then this is the rest of the code. And that should give you the Andes record. Now to get Sarah's record, you can repeat the same structure. You can copy this and paste it. And now I can see the records of Andy as well as Sarah. 